What's good with your fam fam? Welcome to Big Faces Worldwide, where we talking nothing but this boxing. Hey, listen, man, uh, I'd like to welcome you all to the channel, man. For those of you that are, are new to the channel, I want you to think about subscribing as we stay knee deep into this boxing talk. And for those of you that are returning, y'all know what we about to do, man. Hey, listen, man, heavyweight contender Dillian White. He has an upcoming fight um, against Oscar Rivas. Um, you know, and he's been doing a lot of interviews promoting this fight, man. But in this one particular interview that Dillian White did, he, uh, you know, unleashes verbal warfare on unified heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua, man. Um, Dillian White accuses the, the, the heavyweight champ of using steroids. He said that big baby Miller, Jarrell Miller, who was scheduled to fight Anthony Joshua, got popped for PEDs and, um, you know, now is out of the fight. He said that Miller was just trying to have an even playing field with Joshua. Um, I'm going to read to you some of this, some of this, uh, you know, interview in this article so you can hear exactly what Dillian White had to say, man. White explained um, his description on how boxers are legally cheating. He believed they are cutting corners by securing therapeutic use exemptions to allow them to use banned substances, man. Um, he says there are many fighters on this who are legally juicing. He said the doctors, the doctors just give it to them, saying they got asthma, that they've got ADHD or whatever. And they, you know, they, they are allowed to do it. He said the bigger question in the sport that needs looking into and need shining a light on is that um, TUEs because you'd be shocked of how many fighters are on this stuff, man. Um, you know, he said he goes on to talk about Miller and he says and he feels Miller's state of mind was to take as many performance enhancers as possible to even up the odds with Joshua, man. Um, this this is a quote that I'm about to read by White. He said, I think he's thinking I'm fighting a juice man. So I'm going to get on the juice, too. He kept on going on about Joshua's uh, TUEs. Um, so he knows Joshua's on it. That's what White said. He said he's thinking, boy, I'm going to make my own TUEs up. He knows Joshua's on it. So he probably just got scared. It's a big fight and he doesn't want to get hurt. He probably just got scared and thought, shit, I'm going to get killed. I better do something. End quote. Now, these are the exact words of Dillian White, man. Um, you know, uh, you know, White himself, you know, he tested positive um, and I believe he had a two year ban um, for, you know, a, a controlled substance of, of his own. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, White says that, uh, you know, it was something that was over the counter. I believe the supplement he was taking was Jack 3D. Um, and it had something, something in it that, you know, he was unaware about, you know I mean? You can get this at, you know, like a supplement store or something like that, man. So he says that, you know, he wasn't, you know, sticking needles in them and, and, and doing things like Anthony Joshua and Gerald, Gerald Big Baby Miller were doing. Um, you know, and, you know, my feelings on this, man, is that, you know, some guys are just genetically gifted, man. And, uh, you know, some guys could... Barely touch a weight, man, and have all type of muscles, man. Be ripped up to the bone, man. Then you got guys who put hours and hours in the gym, man, and have no results, man. Um, you know, I don't know if Joshua's on anything, man. I do know that. I do think Joshua is one of them guys that's just genetically gifted, man, that, you know, he has to do the bare minimum, and he's just ripped up, man, and, and, and full of muscles. You understand what I'm saying? But, um... You know, I don't have no facts to accuse Joshua of, of doing anything, man. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to jump to conclusions. Um, but, you know, Big Baby, you know, he, he finally came out with a second, um, a second, uh, you know, what, uh, statement or whatever on, you know, his, his alleged PED. Well, it wasn't alleged. His PED findings, man. And this is what Jarrell Big Baby Miller had to say. Check it out. It's your boy here, Big Baby Miller, man. I just want to give a shout out to the fans and people out there. Listen, don't believe everything you hear, but we got a lot of great interviews and information coming out real soon. I want you guys to check it out and listen. 
Um, shout out to Andy Ruiz if he gets the fight. What else can I say, man? This is the sport of boxing. A lot of people want to point the finger. Remember, you got four pointing right back at you. Or is it three? Either way, is tune in, check us out. A lot of good things coming in the future. Sometimes things don't work out the way you want it to work out. But like I said, God got a plan, and I ain't going nowhere. Still in the gym. Now, now concerning uh, Big Baby Miller, man, it's like, uh, come on, man. It's like, come on, man. Now, if you were just caught with using one PED, you know, I may be able to give you the, you know, the, uh, the benefit of the doubt. But from the outside looking in, man, when you're caught with one, two, three different types of uh, pads, man, it's hard to take your word that, you know, what I'm saying that, uh, you know, it, it wasn't intentional, man. It's hard to 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 fathom what you can possibly say to defend yourself. But um, he states in in that in that statement that there are going to be interviews coming out. And, you know, I'm real curious to see what he has to say for himself, how he tries to to spin it, because me personally, I don't think there's nothing that he could say that um, would get him in the clear. Nothing that he can um, say that will restore his reputation. Like I said, if it was one PED, then, you know, maybe he gets the benefit of the doubt. But when there's three separate PEDs. There's got to be some truth to the to the story. There's got to be some some uh, fault that you have to accept, man. Um, but that's all I got for now, man. Uh, in the meantime and in between time, I want y'all to stay blessed and keep on supporting this thing that we love called boxing. Peace. I'll holler back.